Hello, and welcome back to the final episode of my walkthrough for Banjo-Kazooie. I know I said I was going to meet you at Banjo's house in the last episode, but... I don't know, I felt like this journey through Spiral Mountain back to the house could be a bit more personal, you know? We could share it together. And kind of just explore Spiral Mountain one last time. This game always brings back a lot of nostalgic memories for me. I def definitely enjoy wandering around the world, the overworld and stuff. Taking out giant carrots, and collecting honeycombs for our red health bar. I don't understand in Banjo Two like why everything resets. Maybe it's just been like two years since they went on another adventure, so they lost all their like they didn't. It's like working out, you know, or if you don't keep to it, and they lose it all or something. I don't know. There's an extra life right there, as I showed you in the first episode. It's nice that I'm showing you where the extra life is in the first episode as well as the last. This Kaliwab was really low to the ground, so I'm just going to take him out. And this honeycomb appeared in this tree. <laughs> I want to get it. I'm going to get it. Oh my goodness. I know. I'll just flip flap up to it. Bam. That's how you get it. You can actually go to the, all these molehills again and talk to him. I think he explains to you how to do the, the move. Check out this giant moving rock that Klungo gave up on trying to get out of the way. So Gruntilda's underneath there. That's cool. Good for her. I'm going to destroy his quarries. So pretty much in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Banjo's house. And we're going to go to this the portrait hanging above the fireplace. The Bottles portrait. And Bottles is going to have us play a bunch of mini games, uh, Puzzle mini games. And once you complete all the puzzle mini games, you can unlock these bonuses. He'll give you these cheats to these bonuses that you can unlock. And it just kind of alters the game slightly. Like makes Banjo like have a big head or small feet or big feet, stuff like that. The final one actually turns you into a washing machine, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Which is actually a transformation in the second game, so it's interesting that he does that. But, uh, and he's he's not even the one that turns you into the washing machine in the second game, so fancy that. But then, you know, you can, you can only do this if you 100% the game, which is what we've done. Actually, I think it's if you collect every single jigsaw piece, which we have done. We've collected every single jigsaw piece. So, hooray for us. Now, let's go ahead and enter Banjo's house and get this started. There's seven total. Um, I'm probably going to mess up around the sixth and seventh one, so I'm going to redo. Probably end up doing those a couple times. But what we want to do is go in his house and just stare at the picture for a little while. There we go. I don't know if it's for a little while or if you just have to find it. Well, hey, you found my secret moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you can win a mystery prize. It better be good, Soil Brain. Do I get some new moves? Uh, maybe. Now watch this. Oh boy. Use the left stick to move Banjo's hand. Press A to pick up and put down pieces. Press X to turn them to the side. Or the right stick to rotate them. Absolutely, man. So you have to pretty much go off of what, uh, oops, off of what the picture looks like at the moment. I think it's a very cool feature. I remember discovering this back in the day on the N64, and I was just blown away. I was like, whoa, this is intense. Because it is. This game's very intense. This game's amazing. It makes you think a lot and do a lot of things. So it's cool. So you can rotate pieces. Uh, you don't need to right now for this first puzzle because none of them rotate. You can actually see which ones do rotate when the <coughs> puzzle explodes there at the beginning. You see which ones rotate. I don't need to worry about that at all though, so whatever. This is actually how you unlock levels in the second game, is doing these little moving picture puzzles, which is really cool. I wish they would have had that for this game. But what can you do? The second game did do a bunch of added, you know, they added a lot of stuff and had much better features. And improve things, mechanics, but this game still tops it easily. Hey, you did it! It was easy, Beetle Breath. What do we win? Listen carefully, and I'll tell you. Use the tiles on the floor in the sandcastle and treasure trove cove to spell the word bottles bonus one. I don't remember which one that is. I think that might be. Um, it might just give Banjo a big head. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do this too, just to make sure. Because I've already, I've already showed you the tolls, 900, 124, and it's going to take us about six hours to complete this game, which is fine with me. But if we go all the way to the end here, yeah! Every single stop and swap item. So cool. 
Just look at the picture again. I can do that. I might be a little too far away. There we go. Alright, round two. Who's easy peek? Alright, none of them, once again, none of them have rotated. I don't think it's gonna happen until the third one. I think the whole point of this puzzle is to just kind of like separate the pieces more, like put them further away from where their original spot is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I gotta be more clutch than that, than the, the actual the ending. Oh, I'll have to replace that one. That guy over here. This one was down in one then. Yeah. I got this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what I like to say. It's my catchphrase. No, it's not. It's a dumb catchphrase. I probably do say that a lot, though. <laughs> not gonna lie. Not, like, over... Like, overly en enough, but I do say it, like, more than the average human being. Would say it, I suppose. I don't know if that's cool or not. I hope it is. It's probably not, though. If I had to guess. So I should probably stop saying that, since this isn't the 50s. Bottles bonus 2. So the codes are Bottles Bonus 1, Bottles Bonus 2, Bottles Bonus 3, Bottles Bonus 4, Bottles Bonus 5, Big Bottles Bonus, and then Wishy Washy Banjo. Those are the codes, if I remember correctly. Alright, so I need to rotate this guy. Oh, let's go look right here. You can kind of tell which ones are rotated or need to be rotated. This one is... there we go. I was figuring it out. I almost had it. I also do like to put in the uh, corner pieces first, usually, when it gets to these harder ones. Because they will help you uh, set the other pieces. Usually doing the outside helps a lot, too. It's a decent way to uh, kind of, you know, whittle down the amount of pieces. Because you actually oops, get very little time compared to like how challenging the puzzles are later on. And you'll see that in a bit here. Not right now. But you will see it. Oh, is this a... Oh, this is a top piece. No, it's not. Oh, it's over here. I didn't see that. Oh, God. So this is the point where it's, like, starting to get close now. I'm, like, losing ten seconds off of every single... Uh, puzzle. That I do. was like 15 seconds right there. I think I finished the other one at 30. Started like finishing it at 50 and then 40 and then 30 and this one's at 15. So yeah, Bottles Bonus 3 for that one. Let's go ahead and <coughs> do this one. Oh boy. That was the bottom piece. No. This one goes because I saw the egg. I just assumed that one went there. Nice. I saw Banjo running around on that one, so that's how I knew that one went there. Sorry for lacking commentary, this is gonna get very intense for me. I kinda need to concentrate. If I don't want to repeat these, that way I can make these videos as short as possible. Now I have to deal with all this nonsense of redoing puzzles and stuff. Nice. Okay, yeah, we got this one down pat pretty. This one was really easy, actually. Much easier than the other ones. Just wish I had the, the hand didn't slide around as as much as it does. So it definitely slides down a lot. Slides around a lot. Bottles bonus four, baby. Easy how you can now go and see what the word bottles bonus four does. Yeah, the background gets progressively harder too. Like the picture itself becomes much more confusing as you see. Oh boy. All right, so this one's gonna go in the middle. Let me get that one out of the way. This one's down here. This one's gonna be right here. 
This guy's at the bottom. It's one of these bottoms. There we go. Um, shit, I need to pick this up. Luckily, it goes right here though, so that's fine. That guy up there. That guy up there, and that's all four corner pieces. I just need to progressively knock out these uh, side pieces. This one at the bottom. Yep. This one's also at the bottom. Nice. Up there. There we go. Beautifully done. It did help knocking out those couple middle pieces in the beginning. I won't lie to you. According to the game's lore, tipped up that that lead turtle there for the choir has 19 daughters and one son. You find that out in Banjo Tooie when you rescue his uh, his son because his son just won't hatch from this egg. There we go. That one was much easier, actually. Wow, just slightly getting easier. It was like easy, easy, harder. It was like easy, harder, harder, uh, easier, easier. <laughs> One more level left. Bullshit, dude. I'm calling shenanigans on that. This would be too hard. Let me get this one out of the way. So I know that one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes there. Oh, is this one? Oh, this one's upside down. Haha. -ha. Tried to get me, but couldn't. I'm just gonna put that one back. Oh, this one's on the side. Oh, jeez. This isn't cool. This is not going well at all. Not going well at all. I need to get the. I gotta knock these side ones out. What am I doing? Getting all crazy. I'm accidentally. I'm like trying to pick up the side ones, but I accidentally pick up the stupid middle ones, and I'm like, man, well, I might as well place it because I picked it up. So I want to waste time. Oh, this is the bottom one. Actually, wow. <laughs> Placed all like the middle ones first on this guy. Like you, you know, like, the, the corner ones, like, you know where they go, too, because the shape of the pieces. It's just how it is. So that's bottle, Big Bottle's bonus. Big Bottle's bonus! Oh, that was the last one, huh? Fooled you. I've got one really special prize left. Let's see you do this one, feather face. I'm ready, goggles. Some very, like, derogatory terms going on in this game. I've noticed that. So this is definitely the hardest one because like every single piece pretty much like rotates. You actually it gives you a little bit of leeway here at the beginning. This banjo kinda like hangs out and sits there. So you can place a few pieces while he's doing that. There's like absolutely no time though. To place anything. Just wanna point that out. It only gives you like 75 seconds. This one goes up here. This one goes over here. This one goes down here. Oh god. Oh yeah, this is fail all day. Fail all day. Oh, bummer. Ugh. Almost got through all of them. This one's hard. This is what I'm saying. I'm actually surprised I did pretty good on the uh, Man Monster Mansion one. The one before that, because some of these are pretty difficult. Here we go. Let's see how much, uh, how much time do we get? 75 seconds, I think? Yeah, 75 seconds. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
whatever. So that one <laughs> was in the way. Ah, Jesus. Alright, just knock out the sides. Knock out the sides. That's what you gotta do first, Brian. Knock out the sides. And the corners. Sides and corners. That's task one. Oh god, I already, already only have 31 seconds left. Grab it! God! Just wasting all this time. Again, man, come on. What the hell? You have to be like on point. You cannot like mess up. You cannot like miss grabbing one. Or placing one wrong one. It's cool though, I have plenty of time to do this. This episode's only like 15 minutes in. Alright. Place this one first. Not there. There we go. Uh. So yeah, he starts to like move around a lot more and it makes the background much more difficult. I'm not even like meaning to place half of these where they're getting placed, I'm just trying to like place them on the square or the, the thing next to them. And it gets all sucked in and placed differently than what I want. That one I actually thought was the corner piece, so that was my bad. My B, my bust. Looks like I have it this time, though. Yeah, got it. Okay, cool. I was able to film those middle ones a lot easier and quicker. Nailed it. Third time's a charm. Wishy-washy banjo and an achievement unlock. He must have cheated to do that. No way, Bug Slipper. The hand over the special prize. Oh, very well. Enter the code Wishy Washy Banjo for some good, clean fun. Is that a pun? Some good, clean fun? Okay, well. We started this journey where I'll end it, right outside of Banjo's house. So, that's it for the game. Let me go ahead and uh, show you the achievements real quick. Yep, 200 out of 200. There you go. All the achievements. And here's the, the file I started in Banjo-Tooie so we could access those stop and swap items. But, uh, anyway, well, thank you for watching this walkthrough or let's play. Um, if you enjoyed it, please consider liking it. And if you want to see more, please, pretty please, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be doing a lot more in the future here. I'm probably going to start on Alan Wake here next. Uh, maybe some other games. I'm definitely doing Alan Wake next, though. So, thank you for watching. My name is Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.